I am James and today we are looking at this, an HP 14CK 0520SA laptop and we are going to be working on it. So to start we are going to take a plastic pry tool and we are going to remove the two rubber feet on the base. We're just going to press in on one end, make sure that we are lifting the strip and the adhesive tape underneath it and peel both of those out. These are different and you'll see one is keyed um, so make sure you keep track of which is which. Having done that we are then going to remove three screws at the back, one here and one here at the front, oh, sorry two on this angled section and as we do that we're just going to place screws off to one side in the same pattern that we have removed them. This is just using a Phillips 00 size screwdriver and I will include a link in the description for the parts and tools that are being used for this machine. So with those six screws removed we can now flip the machine over and open it up. We're going to take our pry tool again and we are just going to around the palm rest here where the palm rest meets the base we are just going to start pressing in and releasing the base. It doesn't take too much pressure to this and uh, it's not a ridiculously tight fit so we're just going to go around and release those and down the other side we get enough of that released we can then flip back over again and pull on the front just going to so pull from the front lift upwards and we should without too much effort have the base off. Now once inside first thing that we are going to do is we have the battery held in with four screws. This is a fairly standard HT03XL battery typical in a lot of HP laptops and so we are going to lift that out by removing the battery we're just ensuring, oh sorry one more back screw there, four screws. So by removing the battery we're going to just lift on the front edge and then slot it out at the bottom. So by removing that we're ensuring that the laptop is electrically off. Now we have a single DIM module here which is DDR4-2666 and if we wanted to add an additional DIM, all that's required, we have this second DIM slot here, so we can press that in and clip it down into position. We're not actually upgrading that today, however, so we're going to remove that and place it back in the drawer. If we wanted to replace the SSD, so this is a SATA type drive, the connector looks like it will take either SATA or NVMe type drives, and to remove that simple case of undo the screw, remove the drive and then slot back into place and screw back down. Now I will recommend in the link uh, below a SATA drive or I will check uh, the service manual to see if it would take NVMe types as well and uh, include in the description whether it will or not. Now the real reason we're here today is as we can see this fan is not moving smoothly we have a new one to fit so to do that we have the connector here so we are going to 
gently ease out the fan connector. We then have two screws which hold the fan in place. With those removed we should now be able to lift and remove the fan as so. And I'm just going to quickly give that a very brief clean just to remove any dust. With that done we're now ready to install our replacement fan. So we just slot that into place, make sure those screw holes are lined up and screw down as so. If we did want to repaste the CPU then it is four screws holding the heatsink down and with that removed it can just be lifted out. To replace the wireless card there is only a single antenna connector here, single screw here to lift the wireless card out and replace it. So with the new fan in place we just need to make sure that the connector for it is clipped into place. And with that done we are now ready to reassemble our machine. And so we can slot in our battery, replace the four screws for that. And with that done, all that's left to do is reattach the base. So we take our base, refit it starting on the side with most of the ports, press down just in place, flip over and open the laptop, press down to refit all the clips to the base, swap back again and then just replace the six screws into the base making sure that we have them in the frame so I hope you found this video useful if you have please give it a like um, if it's helped you fix or upgrade your machine let us know in the comments or likewise if you have any questions hit subscribe if you'd like to see more videos as we post them thanks for watching and i hope you have a nice day